My name is Jason Page, and I'm nominated for Scorsese, an American crime, crime drama at the Wallace Annenberg. I played the role of Joe Pesci, Frankie. His name was Frankie, but he was a combination of Pesci and Nicholson. They mix all these movies together. You get kind of confused which movie you're in, but they're all the Scorsese movies mixed together in one movie, one, one on-stage thing by the brilliant Anderson Davis, who's an incredible, incredible director. My initial growth happened as an egg in 1947 in my grandmother's belly as she was pregnant with my mother. My mother came out. Then I was conceived in 1969 in Texas, where I actually emerged as a formed being. Uh, I moved to Baltimore. I moved to Florida. I moved to Queens. I moved to Brooklyn, where I got this accent. And then I moved to Manhattan to the, to the High School of Music and Art, LaGuardia High School. Fame, I want to live forever. I want to learn how to fly. Hey. Which actually was a little bit of a repressive thing, even though they spent, they, uh, they propose that they are an art school. They're actually not any more artistic than uh, most schools. Uh, I was only given two classes of arts in, for the first two years of school, which I know in some schools you've got all kinds of extracurricular activities. So support was, uh, was there, but it was minimal compared to the support that we get in the community for arts. My dad's a saxophone player. My, my grandfather is a drummer. Um, they played music throughout most of their lives. My father still plays saxophone. My mom draws a little bit. And she worked in theater in New York. She propped and stage managed over 100 off-Broadway th shows throughout my uh, high school and young adult life. So I was exposed to incredible theater artists, Geraldine Page, Mirror Repertory, uh, New York Theater Workshop, Kathy and Moe Show, all kinds of really amazing underground art that helped to show me that we can really create our own thing in the world and have it be supported by the world and, and break new ground, actually. Because I, 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 in New York, you really need to break ground in order to make it there. You make it there, you'll make it anywhere. It's up to you. Sorry, that was a little bit of a tangent there. My life as a theater artist in a tough theater town is incredibly rewarding because of the communities that I can inspire and be a part of and call upon for support. Uh, I'm a member of Open Fist Theater, which is a collective of, of artists that come together to produce their own work. Uh, the For the Record community is incredible, and the expansive work that we've done, from bars to clubs to giant venues to incredible equity spaces like the Wallace, are a, a gift unlike anything I could have ever imagined. Um, and, and it has taken art to the next level, it's taken community to the next level, and uh, I just hope it continues to expand like that and provides an example for the rest of the world to come together. Collectives really can work in this town uh, to create better things than other structures that are more financially driven, commercially driven. Even though we're in the middle of this commercial town, the real vitamins in the meal <laughs> happened in the theater, I think. I was in the world premiere of Joe's Garage, and Frank Zappa uh, is a icon to most people, but most people don't know about his actual work. They just know his name. So his celebrity comes from his name, but not his work. Joe's Garage is one of the best musical works of actual musical theater. It's theater. It's, it's a real epic adventure of all that Frank saw wrong with the world that was exemplified in Joe's process. And he just crossed every boundary to make that message heard. Um, so I, I, I think that he's one of the most important art, artists of our time, actually. And uh, his work needs to be a little bit more appreciated. And uh, the other person I mentioned was Martha Dempson at the Open Fist Theater, who inspired her community to create all the works that happen at Open Fist, which are incredible. This year, we're doing our Christmas show, A Beatles Gospel Nativity, where our community of 45 to 50 person gospel choir sings the songs of the Beatles to tell the nativity story. In a 99 seat theater, we've got a cast of 65. It's incredible, but uh, this is how communities thrive with collaboration and those who inspire that and create that are the heroes and champions of our world.
That's all. You got any other questions, you let me know. You call me up afterwards.